Hello guys, this is Diana from Proma Team, and today we have a great project and strong competitor of Filecoin, Crust Network. Crust is a decentralized storage network based on blockchain technology. It supports multiple storage layers, protocols such as IPFS, and exposes storage interfaces to application layers. It is a decentralized cloud ecosystem that values data privacy. Crust, based on the trusted execution environment technology, and implements meaningful proof-of-work mechanism to quantify meaningful storage resource usage and generate corresponding work reports in a reliable way. CRUST's guaranteed proof-of-stake consensus uses storage resource as a guarantee. It encourages nodes to provide more storage resources and improves the security and robustness of the network. With guaranteed proof-of-stake consensus and meaningful proof-of-work mechanism, CRUST is able to support the quantification and consensus of both storage and computing resource usage and builds ubiquitous decentralized cloud storage and computing capabilities. Today, we are welcoming Yuan from the Crust Marketing team. Hi, Yuan. Thank you for joining us. Crust is a really promising project, and we have a lot of questions and community activity about this AMA. I have some questions about the team and the technology, but I want to start with the common one. Uh, hi, uh, this is Yuan, represents Crust Network team. Uh, really nice to meet you guys, and nice to meet you, Diana. What is CRUST? Is there some meaning behind the name? What is your way to crypto? You are a fresh graduate. What is your major? Why the startup now? Why blockchain and crypto? Tell your blockchain story, please. Okay, uh, CRUST also represents the Earth's crust. Uh, we hope that the distributed storage network can cover the whole world. And this is why we use CRUST as our name. And I graduated last year and my major is marketing. Uh, when I was a student, I experienced Bitcoin plummeting and skyrocketing. And I was very interested in the cryptocurrency industry. So after graduation, I really wanted to join a blockchain project to do marketing. And I researched many projects at that time. And the project concept of Crust was very attractive to me. I think storage is a rigid demand in today's state age. And compared to its huge competitive file coin, Crust has its innovative and democratic features. So finally, I chose to join this team. As your first job, what about your teammates? Tell us about your founder and project leads, how your team decides to start the project. The CRAS team members are also a point that attracts me a lot. Our founder Leo has been working in the ID industry for 15 years. Previously, he worked in Microsoft on development tools and platforms like Visual Studio. And later he worked in Cisco on manufacturing cloud and data system. Another founder, Bova, has 15, experience, 15 years experience of financial investment. He started as a TMT researcher and then managed several funds as investment director and he founded Wingsign Capital and did successful investments in the crypto industry. And most of our teammates used to work for Microsoft or Cisco. In such a team, I often feel that everyone's work progress is efficient and punctual, uh, which also pushes me a lot to grow quickly. And our founder Liu has been studying technology in the field of big data and storage. He had the idea of creating a storage application very early. After meeting Bova, the two hit it off and decided to join the Polkadot and use the Substrate framework to build the chain. The Web3 Foundation is also very interested in our idea and gave us a lot of technical and financial support in the early days. Honestly, I mentioned the serious background of the project from the first steps of research. What about the partners and financing of the project? Who finances the development? How are you going to invite the computing power to the network? Do you already have some deals or we expect computing power only from the community? 
Uh, in the initial stage of crust financing, as the only storage project in the Polkadot ecosystem, we are very popular with investment institutions and the medias. We have selected institutions and media that are beneficial to the development of CRUST. This is a great help to our subsequent project development. We have also been cooperating with other Polkadot projects. Our corporate media also help us a lot in publicity. As for increasing computing power, to be precise, uh, it should increase storage capacity. At last year's profit talk, we have started the layout of miners and a total of 300,000 CIU rewards have been issued to the miners. Now our miners are getting stronger and stronger. Many profitable miners have started to develop crust mining machines to help crust expand our ecosystem. Our work this year focuses more on the application side, and we hope that more developers and storage application vendors will join Crust. We plan to open up Crust grants to encourage developers, and we will also create hackathons. Okay, let's have a questions from our audience about Crust team and community. There will be five questions selected from more than 50, and these questions will be rewarded by the Crust team. Okay, Jan, here is the first one. What support is expected from the community? How do you expect the community to aid the growth of the project? Do you have bounties or ambassadors program we can enroll for? Uh, of course. We will announce a CRAST grant these days for developers. And in addition, we are also preparing for the ambassador program at home and abroad to collect friends from all over the world to contribute to the CRAST community. Are you afraid that your technology will be used to store illegal content? And is there any mechanism to ban it? As an intermediate bridge between the results layer and the application layer, CRUST is the only thing we can do to encourage the subversion of data on both sides. On the results layer side, we are cooperating with several major nodes to develop the IPFS filter mechanism. On the application side, Storage application vendors themselves also need to supplies content. Crust will fully support and appeal them. You have taken Filecoin as a reference point for your design, but you have decided to develop Crust on Polkadot and utilizing IPFS. Why have you chosen these technologies to build upon? So after we finished the overall design of Crust network protocols, including the decentralized storage market, guaranteed proof of stake, and meaningful proof of work, we made several technical choices. Uh, firstly, we need a platform to implement those protocols. We can either choose a smart contract platform like Ethereum and implement our protocols using smart contract, or we can build our own chain and implement our protocols as layer 1 modules. We finally chose Polkadot because it provides much higher performance and flexibility. It fits our needs because Crust is relatively complicated and requires high performance. And also, instead of running a total separate public chain, Polkadot's parachain mechanism provides much better information interaction. And it is very important for Crust as we aim to provide a general storage infrastructure. And secondly, we need a distributed file system, or you can tell data protocol. IPFS is definitely one of the most outstanding ones. Compared with other technologies, it shows wider adoption, especially within the crypto world. What aspects of Filecoin did you identify needed re-architecting and why? So, generally speaking, there are definitely more than one project within one area. Different projects better fit different use cases. 
their design goals are different. So technology stacks are normally different too. So from the Crest perspective, there are three major points. The first one is we want this network to be usable. So instead of relying on layer two solutions, we design a layer one storage market to allow users to place storage order easily. The second one is instead of requiring miner, miners to get more and stake their tokens, we intended to encourage collaboration between token holders and miners. So like Polkadot's NPOS, Crust's GPOS allows users to stake their own tokens to spe specify nodes. And lastly, for the decentralized storage proof mechanism, we choose TEE, which is trusted trustable execution environment. Uh, this technology, uh, we choose TE because it is cheaper and much faster than zero knowledge at this stage. And I am not a Filecoin expert, so uh, that's just to provide my perspective. What changes have you made to help solve such problems? So to summarize, provide a layer one usable storage market running GPOS that encourages collaborations between miners and token holders using TE technology and reducing cost and accelerated speed. Uh, finally, use parachain for faster usage adoption. How is Crust Maxwell going on? Can you explain how Maxwell works and how it will be connected to Kasama and Crust mainnet? What will be the future of Maxwell? On February 4 this year, the Maxwell Preview Network was officially launched. The Preview Network will operate in exactly the same way as the main network, and it will last for two years. For the first time, Crust has opened up the role of token holder guarantee, because Crust implements the GPOS consensus mechanism. Node mining doesn't need to buy tokens by themselves because nodes can set a share ratio and accept any token holders in the cross network. Therefore, all CRU to holders can now obtain pr profit by guaranteeing nodes on the Maxwell network and the cross network salary is paid immediately without unlocking. In addition, another major development of ours is that on February 28, we officially opened the storage function. That is, all users can now access and transfer files through the CRAS network. This is a very important milestone in the implementation of the CRAS application. Many people ask me what to do if you can't get the Polkadot slot. In fact, CRAS is a public chain without the Polkadot and Ethereum boundary. You can understand that we are a public chain developed based on substrate. The current storage market opening has answered this question. Even if the Polkadot slot cannot be photographed, Crust is still an application that can be used by the general public. What is the roadmap for Crust? Tell us about the future key points. Right now, we are at open test phase in our roadmap. Recently, we launched our incentivized preview network named Maxwell, which I mentioned before, and the storage market is now available to use, and the basic version of JS SDK, and the code sample to use that SDK is open results. If you run into any problem or need more detailed information, you can always join our Telegram group for general information and Discord for more specific technical support and discussions. Next, we will participate in Kusama and Polkadot slot auctions, and our mainnet is expected to go live in June this year. Okay, let's continue with the questions from our followers about cross-technology and roadmap. 
Cross Network is using the consensus mechanism, meaningful proof of work and guaranteed proof of stake. What improvements do those have to the regular POW and POS mechanisms? Regarding these two mechanisms, I have already mentioned them. The biggest improvement of MPOW over POW is to reduce unnecessary computing power consumption. And compared with POS, GPOS has joined the role of guarantor, which allows all CIU holders of the entire network to participate and reduces the pressure on miners. I was looking through some statistics and it seems that 88% of the total cloud storage space is being unused. How does Cross see this as a challenge? Also, which layers do you support besides IPVS? This is the main work of CRUST this year, developing the application side. At present, we have discussed cooperation with many blockchain projects. Many NFT projects have used CRUST to store data. In addition, Uniswap has merged the code deployed on the CRUST website. And currently, we only support IPFS. In the future, we will also support fast DFS and other storage layer protocols. The tokenomics is based on token CRU. What is the purpose of this token? How it can be used now and in future? In the cross network, CRU tokens have six main functions. Committed to maintaining the GPOS consensus of the cross network, used to ensure the selected node act as a contract guarantee and commission for the provision of result service as a transaction fee for using the network used to purchase results services and used for the election and voting of the on-chain on governance mechanism and vote on the proposal. Uh, you can find all this information in our economic white paper. Will Cross participate in the Polkadot slot auction? How do you plan to reward your voters? As an early Polkadot ecological project, Cross will definitely participate in Polkadot and Kusama slot auctions. At the beginning, we chose this ecology because of the huge heterogeneous ecology generated by the future parachain information interaction. Crust has included Polkadot slot auctions in our economic white paper as early as in its plan. And we plan to use 40% of the ecological development tokens for slot related activities. This amount is about 2 million CIU. Here is the question from the community about tokenomics. It's easy to make a token, but it's really hard to make this token valuable. So what's your strategy to make your token more valuable and what's your plan to maintain token price and supply? We believe that enhanced applications are the best way to make tokens valuable. We have designed a set of economic models that adapt to the market. The next thing to do is to do a good job of development so that crust storage can be used by everyone. The result of the AMA contest best five questions we answered today will be rewarded by Crust team. It's a pity, but we didn't receive good ideas about the best use case for Crust that deserved the special prize. So we will return to this contest in the future. Thank you for your time, Yuan. We wish Crust all the best. Promo team are the supporters of the project and we hope to make more contribution. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Promo team. And thanks for having me today.